Welcome back, everybody, to Ingress Summit Guy Gaming. And in this episode, we're going to continue on with our mission here. Uh, we are doing Vertigo. And so I uh, just finished setting up a shack here, as you can see, uh, for our crafting bench that we have to do. And we've got a, a minor winds approaching. Okay, so let's grab you. Going to need that. Uh, that. And yeah, that's all we need. Except for let's not leave this guy sticking around here to attract more predators. I don't think we'll need to worry about this. Uh, we'll probably have to do a little bit of repairing, but probably nothing too major. Uh, so yeah, this uh, update that they just came out with the last week here is supposed to have more performance improvements. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I really won't know how effective that is going to be until that hurt a scorpion uh, until we get back to our, our base because that, that's where I have the most performance issues back in um, you know where our base is located uh, so we'll, we'll see how things go uh, with that all right so we need to gather up 12 stone so why don't we go ahead and just got a little too much stuff in our inventory here. We wanted the bone primarily to repair that, so let's get rid of those bones. And then we will make a wood pile. Just to free up a little more inventory space. Once we have the crafting bench made, then we can actually store some of this extra stuff in there. Uh, oh, the other thing we can and should do is also uh, put this down, so let's do that. Okay. Let's go get a little bit of stone. Oh, yeah, we were talking about the update. So, um, I also watched the Galileo video, and uh, the fishing looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, so I'm looking forward to them adding... Uh, fishing to the game. They're also um, adding keep Thinking I'm hearing predators um, They're adding a bestiary uh, which will be cool because you can discover more information about the critters you encounter and uh, As a part of that process, you know with the knowledge that comes along with that um, It'll give us buffs that will allow us to do more damage and have more resistances against uh, those creatures so I like that because the you know the bestiary idea is is kind of fun and cool and just adds to the the lore and whatnot to the game but for it to also have a practical um, application uh, makes it even that much better so very cool on that front uh, okay now we need now we need the wood um, okay, let's pick all that wood up let's drop that because we have to leave a spot open in inventory for us to put this thing down. Okay, so let's craft this. Okay, so we've got the repair of uh, the bench now. So, um, can we put that in there? And how do we how do we repair this? It could be repaired at a crafting bench. Okay. We have talents? Oh, our talents have been reset. Really? When did that happen? <laughs> Has it been that way for a while? Or did that did that just happen? 
Okay, our solo talents haven't been reset. Wow, okay. No, they haven't been reset. I just have 15. When, how did I get 15 more talent points? I don't know. When did that happen, you guys? Let me know in the comments, if you would. Fast remove speed with fire. Okay, so we have 15 points of talents to spend on top of what we already have. Is that right? That seems a little, like, off. I mean, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth, but goodness. Maybe that, that must have come with an update, and I just plain missed it. Because, I, you know, I haven't checked this in a while because we capped our talents out, like, a long time ago. All right, well, if, um, if that's the case, a chance of the gun... Durability, or gains durability on a breaking shot. A 30% chance. Okay, that's not bad. Chance to not consume ammo. Okay, that's all voodoo witchcraft stuff, though. What's this? Uh, wear rate of firearms. That's a good one. I'm going to take two points in that. Um, let's do gun runner so that we can run faster with our guns. Pistol. We could, we could spec it as shotguns, too, but I don't think we need to. Shotgun's nice, but I don't think it's it's needed in addition to the hunting rifle, because the hunting rifle can do everything the shotgun can do. And more. How many shots did you... Okay. Let's keep those in mind. Let's look at... We have 11 points. Chance to craft double arrows. Eh. Cheaper bow crafting. Eh. Chance to fire two arrows. Sure. I like that. Fire arrows will lock onto targets. Fire. Nah, that's kind of voodoo witchcraft a little bit. Arrow strikes bleed your target over time. Eh, maybe. We use our Kniffy a lot, so we, we might want to actually put some points into knives. Attack speed with knives. Running with knives. And f uh, that's for... I think that's for throwing. So let's pop that up. Damage with knives. Increase multiplier on knife critical hits. Sure. Party blade. Knives degrade slower. I like that one too. Okay, that uses up all our points. I just put them all into our primary weapon skills. Our, you know, our, our yeah, our primary weapon skills. I mean, there's other stuff we could have looked at, but. We, we do fine. We, we don't have any problem at all surviving at the at this point. So we might as well just do more pew pew. Okay, so um, anyway, back to this. How am I supposed to repair this? If I right click on it, it just does, it just says drop. Okay, guys. Um, so I, apparently the laser thingy is in my recipes list. I ha had no idea that, that it was in there. I mean, how in the hell am I supposed to know <laughs> that there was a laser... An MK200 weaponized laser option in my recipes. And if something told me that along, you know, throughout this process, I missed it. Uh, but in, anyway, that's that's where it is. So we, <laughs> how am I supposed to know that? Okay, so we're going to have to get some tree sap and some rope, uh, neither of which should be difficult to do. Um, I don't think we get tree sap directly from, excuse me, from... Um, palm trees um rope we should be able to just do with fiber um so let's um oh you know what we might get some tree sap from those that just gave us fiber too uh, we might get some tree sap from those little, I mean, from lack of a better way to describe them, kind of like little mini saguaro cactus thingamadoodles. I think we get tree sap from those. Those things out there. So let's go. Maybe we do. Oh, we have to harvest these by hand. Yep, tree sap. Look at that. We got three. So I guess it's cactus sap.
No, it doesn't look like we get one every time, though. Here, I don't need all this crap. There we go. Okay, that's enough for us to repair it. Yeah, I mean, there was nothing at all to indicate that all, that, that laser recipe all of a sudden magically appeared in my recipes. <laughs> How was I supposed to know that? Uh, so anyway. I think I actually ran into this a long time ago on Olympus too, where I had a had to make a quest item and I couldn't figure it out, but I just totally forgot about that. But hopefully in the future, you know, the next time I do a quest thing and it wants me to do something or other, I remember to look in my recipes. Okay, so... Oh, we need to make the rope. Right, okay. Let's put this in here. I think we needed five pieces of rope. Okay, let's craft the weapon thing. Weapon laser thingy. And we now have the weapon laser. Huh. Clever. Seems to have an internal power source. Now, get that laser on site. You're kind of demanding, aren't you, Saul? Uh, Alright, so we, got, we finally figured out the whole laser thing. So, yeah, note to self... Next time a quest wants you to make something or repair something and you don't figure can't figure out how to do it, look in your recipes. Because it'll magically appear. Okay, do we does he want us to do this at a specific location, I'm guessing probably? Yeah, right here. Okay. Uh what time is it? It is 1645. Yeah, I think we have time. Hopefully. You know, this could actually be a bad idea. Why don't we wait until morning? I'm just gonna kind of putz around here until morning and then we'll I'll meet you guys over there. Alright, so I guess this is where... they want me to break on through to the other side. Um, but usually... don't they usually have a... a little pr a placeholder thingy? Oh, I bet you we have to go up that cliff. Yeah, because when I when I come over here, I'm still actually not Yeah, it's up on that cliff. Okay. So we either have to ramp up there or we have to walk back around and Ooh, can we do that? Let's just ramp up. I think I have enough ramps to get up there. There we go. Yeah, we may may not have been able to get over here. Otherwise. And yeah, there's the placeholder to put the laser thingy. Okay, so the last time we, we did this, we had a bunch of ginormous worms attacking us. So, don't be surprised if that happens again. But, I purposefully conserved my rifle ammo uh, for some, you know, kind of bullshit like this happening. Uh, in case it is the worms again, let's get the poison uh, stuff down on the health bar. We already have our uh, medical stuff right there. And, uh, yeah, so let's let's do this. Cool. Okay, let's run back here. Man, that's a big cliff. I'm sure it's only going to like create a cave and not topple the whole thing. Well, actually, no, I'm not sure about that. Let's just see what happens. Nothing's attacking it, which is different. Usually they have stuff coming after it. Nice. The thing worked like a charm. 
Guess the group is on to something. Oh, now it wants us to do it in the cave. Okay, that's probably where we're going to get jumped by a bunch of worms. Um, okay, hold the pickup. This is um, similar to uh, one of the other quests that we had to do to open up an area in sticks on one, on one of the multiplayer live streams. All right, apparently it's not over here. Uh, but there was another Y going off this way. There we go. Okay. Everybody get ready for giant worm fight. You know it's going to happen. <coughs> or is it? Twenty percent complete. It stopped. Try a manual restart. Something's gonna happen here in a second. You just watch. Prospector. Laser stopped again. No shit. You want me to repair it again with some uh, tree sap and twine? <laughs> That's funny. I think it's funny. You sure about your repair job? Needs a restart. I'm sure glad he's he's there to tell me that because you know otherwise I wouldn't have realized it needed to be restarted. Are my readings on your suit temp correct? No. Uh -oh. Is that the laser? You better stand back. I'm standing back. I need to eat one of these too. Woo -hoo! Damn. There we go, we did it. <laughs> I thought you're done for. Did Still, you know? It, it did the job. <laughs> we can tell group 15 it wasn't hard to turn their prototype into a bomb. Uh Unless you did repair it, right? And who was supposed to do that? Well, huh. never know it's a group. Best get back to your dropship before they ask for something else. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we have finally finished the Vertigo mission. Um, and I think... I think we've pretty much opened up all of... Uh, all of the blocked areas of sticks. Well, actually, I guess I don't know that for sure, but, you know, we can now... Let's look at the map here. We opened up this area on a quest uh, or a mission. I opened up this area on a mission on multiplayer. We opened up... And we opened up this one. So that gives us pretty good access uh, across the map now across the sticks map. Shoot this guy in the butt. 
went to all that trouble to make all this ammo. And we never actually used it, but I, <laughs> I was expecting... I was expecting, you know, a big fight at the end, because that's usually what happens. So they kind of surprised me by not doing that this time. They're just messing with me. That's what they're doing. All right, well... There's one more thing to do, and that is to uh, this. Do this. And that's why we bring it with us, so we don't have to walk 500 miles back to our original landing location. If you ask me, it's well worth taking up that slot uh, for the duration of our mission. So, the plan for the next episode is we're going to go back home. Uh, we're going to see... Here we come. Uh, we're going to see if these performance enhancements they made um, will apply to our base where it matters the most. And then the next thing on the list is we need to build ourselves a barn for our critters. Uh, well, assuming they're still alive. We've been gone for a long time, so they might all be dead. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so with that, uh, we're going to wrap up this episode. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.